Looks like an Everglades wildlife jam. I think there's something up here. Oh my god, huge! Look at him right there! It's 7 a.m. and we're driving to the airport to go to Miami. Good morning, happy travelers. We're at LAX, made it through security. Now it's lounge time. We got a new United credit card and that credit card came with two lounge passes. So we're gonna go check it out. We aren't affiliated with the United Explorer card in any way, but we like to share travel hacks when we find them. In addition to the two lounge passes, the United Explorer card gives you one free checked bag for you and one companion, priority boarding, and a zero annual fee for the first year. Usually the bonus mile promotions are pretty good, sometimes even good enough for a round trip flight, but those change all the time, so do a little research before you get this card. All right, got our baggage, and we have a very special partner on this trip. We're not renting a car, but we are being loaned a car. Ooh, it's all-wheel drive. We can go all-wheel driving through the swamps, I guess. <laughs> Chevy has generously loaned us this car for our trip in Florida. This is the 2023 Chevy Trailblazer. Completely brand new, it's all wheel drive. And from what I've read, it's got a ton of awesome features that we have yet to discover. And I think it's gonna look really cool going over the overseas highway to the Keys. Yeah! <laughs> okay, it is about 11 o'clock. We need to get some dinner and get to our hotel room chill, real jazz, spa, and Sinatra. All right, we've made it to our hotel room. We ended up just picking up some sandwiches from a nearby spot and bringing them back here. But we have a couple days here in Miami before we head down to the Keys. So we're gonna do some exploring, maybe a little national parking. <laughs> national parking. <laughs> it's a verb. I think that's gonna be it for tonight and we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, happy travelers. Welcome to Miami. Bienvenido a Miami. Okay, sorry. I couldn't resist. We're on the hunt for some Cuban coffee. So we're staying in the Coral Gables area of Miami. Just around the corner from our hotel is this little walking street. And we saw this place last night when we were getting food here. It's called Espresso Cubano. And those are two things that we really want right now, both espressos and cubanos. It's hot out here, but I still went with a hot coffee because this one is the famous Cafe Bom Bom. And it looks freaking delicious. It's in this cool clear cup and I'm excited. We both got variations of a Cubano sandwich. Definitely think we could have split one, but this is both breakfast and lunch, so whatever. For the rest of our day today, we decided to head to Everglades National Park. From what I understand, there's two different entrances to Everglades with two different visitor center, one to the north and one to the south. We've decided to go to the southern route. Park Pass is so handy. One of the best Christmas presents we've ever gotten. If you know any National Park enthusiasts, the America the Beautiful Pass, good Christmas or birthday present. We have made it to Everglades National Park and we have stopped here at the Ernest F. Co. Visitor Center. 
Apparently there's another visitor center that's very close to here as well. I don't know why there are so many, but just take your pick. I think we're gonna pop inside here real quick and just kind of figure out what the best thing to do is for the rest of the day. Where are the gators? Apparently they have panthers in this park and oh my God, there's one right there. See any gators? No. I don't know. There's a sign that says, don't go near the water. I feel very near the water. I know, right? And they even have saltwater crocodiles down here, guys. So maybe I'm not going in the water on this trip. <laughs> Just a short drive down the road, we have come to the Royal Palms area. There's a couple little walking paths here, the Gumbo Limbo Trail and the Anhinga Trail. We visited here a few years ago way before we ever started a YouTube channel and we were pretty lucky with seeing some alligators here, so fingers crossed we'll be able to see some on this trip. And Hinga? Okay. Ooh. What was that? I'm gonna move away from the water now. You hear it? Yeah. It's probably just like a turtle or something. So this is the Anhinga Trail in Everglades. It is very flat, it's paved, so it'd be a great trail for somebody who had maybe mobility issues or was in a wheelchair. And it gives you kind of a great taste of the plants and animals you'll find in the Everglades. Looks like an Everglades wildlife jam. I think there's something up here. Really, oh really huge, look at them right there. So back at that visitor center, I saw something that said that from the tip of the snout to the eye, if you estimate that in inches, that should be about how long the alligator is from snout to the tip of its tail. And we're pretty close to this one, so I would estimate that amount of inches is about 12. We're looking at maybe a 12 foot long alligator right here. I would guess that's about right. It's pretty big. I saw it breathe, so I know it's real. Oh yeah, he's just sleeping. He does not care that we're here either. That was so cool. I've never been that close to an alligator before and he's just sleeping like literally like his tail's under my feet right now. He's right there and to just be able to see it from so close up and see like the scales on him and it looks like a, a dinosaur. Insane. I like am afraid to look over the edge because I think he's just gonna like bolt into the water or something. Or up at your face. Or up, yeah. I saw a hook. I know how big these guys get. <laughs> We walked around a little bit longer, but we didn't see any more alligators or any other wildlife. So we got back in the car and drove a little further down the road to this little pull-off area here. It's called the Paheoki Overlook. We are the only ones here. Looks like there's a little boardwalk. Hopefully we'll see some birds. This is actually a much bigger national park than I ever knew it was. It takes a really long time to drive from point A to point B. <laughs> so we've been in the car for a while. What was that? Did you hear that? Something in the water over there. The vegetation's super thick. That's a big hear one or two cars pulling up but while we were the only ones here aside from the sounds of the birds and the bugs it was very quiet and very peaceful definitely a good stop we ended up just driving back to our hotel we're gonna call it an early night tonight 
That was a really awesome way to start off our trip in Miami. Everglades are so iconic and we saw that huge alligator, which was so cool. We have one more full day in Miami before we head down to the Keys. In our next video, we'll be taking a food tour in Little Havana for some Cuban food. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. This is Kelly and Kevin from The Awkward Tourists. Peace out. We're taking a food tour in Little Havana. So we're staying in the Coral Gable, Coral Gables. <laughs> I don't understand. Is it Coral? We found Cuban coffee. Is it Coral Gables? And we have stopped here at the Ernest P. Co. Visitor Center. Ernest F. Co. If you know any national parks. Never mind. I thought you were done. Whatever. When am I ever done talking? Never. <laughs> You're on. Because I'll be like blah, 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 blah. Okay.